This was brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Gardening or, and uh, Earth on YouTube. Gardening 2019 Melon Garden Part 3 The wood from the trees have been cutting down. Got more here. Okay, so far on the progress of my garden, I've got a string on this side it started like I have on the other side. And digging this out to make this put this dirt in the toads. I had to use a tree trunk and an old balcony grill that we had. And then I have two beams running straight across here with sticks on it. Sticks and string, like I did there. I'm going to do the same thing here. But I had to put a, another trunk here to give this balance because it's two, two tree limbs hooked together. So let me see if I can get a good shot of all this. This is what memories are made of. <laughs> Some pictures. Okay, this is the results after 45 mile an hour winds. Or two storms actually, one right together. And by looking at it, I can tell that this probably came from the grooves that I have in the ground right there. And the holes needed to be dug deeper. That right there wasn't very well. See the link? You can see it, I'm not sure. The strings are still run hooked up to that and it's still like behind holes there. But yeah, this is after our last night. This is actually the third storm we had 45 mile an hour winds in April. So it gets some footage. As you can tell, all the string seems to still be hooked up and going. It's just Part of the wind and probably pulled that up, and that's probably what caused it. Take some pictures of it. I will start over.
Okay, so uh, I actually looked over everything and I finally figured out what happened. This stick actually came above here. This peg, and then over here I've got a metal peg too that's in the ground. It's real short. That big and slipped up over the top of it. But that's not what actually started it. Um, if you notice, every string. Not one string. I've checked everything and the string actually held up. Now the poles came right out after that came up. And they just came right out of the ground. I should probably put those in deeper. I didn't think I'd have to go too good, so I just did it one foot. Now this is what I believe started the whole situation. So this is after a 45 mile an hour windstorm that happened two nights ago. It was all of this was completely washed or filled with water, so I left it dry out but I'll show you what I was talking about see all of that there isn't one string there isn't one string that's broke This had string going through it for hiding it off on here, and that broke. So I'm guessing that is what causes the problem. Broke here first. This fell over, causing this to collapse. And if you see here, every single bit of that rope, not one, one stitch of it's broke. Now, if you look here to this string, which I didn't have uh, the, uh, sticks on, still connected. Hopefully that comes out with its ears. Take a show. All of it is held up. So that's what I think happened. This right here fell over. And when it fell down, that over there gave away. It's a chain reaction, like a domino effect. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting the dirt out of here and putting it in the toads. Back here in the grow garden. Start. Then I'll rebuild this, take it all apart. Uh, brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and make comments. We love feedback.